<clears throat> what's going on happy friday if this is your first time thank you so much for tuning in to miss moves motivational tarot i'm here to inspire and motivate you guys let's see what spirit want to talk about <clears throat> i appreciate you if this resonates please leave a comment it helps the channel and don't forget to hit the like button and I hope that you enjoy this message. I never know what it's going to be. I do not take reversals in tarot unless spirit tells me so. This is your love day reading due to the fact that it is Friday, which is ruled by Venus. So happy Oshun, happy Venus, happy Aphrodite, happy love day from me to you. All right, collective <laughs> ancestors of our highest good and light. Thank you so much. I was sucking on a peppermint trying to get my throat ready for this. This uh, <clears throat> Somebody wants to have a conversation. <laughs> um, somebody wants to talk. That's what I'm hearing. Ancestors of Aha is good and light. Thank you so much for the clarity, the wisdom, and the downloads. Thank you for the divine protection over me and the collective. As above, so below. Dang, I can't even fi finish the prayer. They already want to talk. Who is this person? What do they want? Good news. All right. <laughs> Good news. Okay. So definitely expect some good news is on the way. This is from Divine. So Divine is like, listen, they know you now. Let's get with the program. <clears throat> the news is coming in quicker than expected or quicker than, I mean, it's not even expected or maybe it is, but it's coming in quicker than expected for some of you. Some of you is coming in. If you see this message, you know what's coming in. Some of you might, you know, leave me a comment and let me know. Dang, Miss Moo, as soon as you finish that message and I read it, I mean, I, I watched it, my message came through. <laughs> I got a text. I got an envelope. I got a phone call, right? <clears throat> it says, all forms of communication. I told you somebody want to talk. <laughs> That's the first thing it says, collective. I'm thinking, you know, yeah, all forms of communication, comma. That could be somebody wanting to talk, like I said. Uh, then it says text, email, documents, phone calls, <laughs> letters, notes, voice messages. Okay? I told you, my first intuition, somebody want to talk. Who is this person? They don't even want to reveal themselves. All right. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit. Tell me, who is this person? Oh, a mature woman. Okay. So this could be a mature um, advisor, a mature... I'm picking up Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Um... <clears throat> The other woman? Wait, but it's good news. No, Sarah, no. <laughs> it does. It says teach your ex other woman. I can't fucking make it up. All right. So your boss, you could be getting some kind of message from someone that you apply a job to. Okay. All right. What is this message about? <clears throat> some money, honey. <laughs> A gift of money. So I picked up a few things, guys. Some of you are going to receive some money that is due to you from an old job. They shortchanged you. Good that you ain't with them motherfuckers. Nah, it was a mistake on payroll's part. Others of you are going to receive money through an inheritance. Um, somebody's going to give you money. Maybe your mama is going to give you some money. And you might be shocked that you get more than you expected. Ooh, okay, moms. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Yo. All right, so what is your advice when my collective received this gift? Mm. You know what else I'm picking up? Like if your mother or grandmother or your auntie, auntie is going to contact you because you're either their favorite niece, nephew. Okay, nephew. 
how you doing? Um, or you're their child or you're someone that they look after. You look to them as a mother figure. They're going to receive some type of um, some type of adjudication. Wow, they're going to, I wonder if they're going to receive some kind of large sum of money. Okay, Spirit, okay, okay. So this could be your person. This could be like your mom's or your auntie, right? Somebody that you look up to, uh, an, an authority figure, like they watched over you as a child, like a, a parent to a child relationship, okay? And they're going to receive a large sum of money, that will require them to get a financial advisor. Wow. What is the potential outcome of this good news? <gasps> a surprise visitor. I like this reading. I'm like, who's, who's, what? Who? Okay, so a surprise visitor. Mm. This is unexpected, Spirit is saying. Yeah, this is unexpected. It's going to unlock somebody's happiness. It's going to be the resolution to all your problems. Y'all, I can't make this shit up. I love when spirit utilizes this platform. Do y'all not see what's in my hand? Isn't that what he looking at? Isn't that the key? Yo, I can't. I mean, it's not the same identical, but a key is a key. Okay? Some of you are going to be getting new homes. Wow, with this money that comes in. And I feel like your your uh, significant other is going to definitely uh, bless you with some of this, uh, this moolah. Mm, this is nice. Okay, okay. So I don't really feel like I need to even pull anything because I just told y'all. I just told y'all the uh, the message. It came out as plain as day. Like one, two, three, four, five. Everything is going to happen in sequence, Spirit is saying. But um, I'll go ahead and pull. I'll go ahead and pull this. Wow, this is nice. Okay. Yeah, this is so... <laughs> This is some good news. I know it's a big amount, of, a large amount of money because it says the number 27. Somebody could play numbers. So the number 7, 6, 27, 30, 41, 38. Spirit told me to say that. Go play those numbers. I'm not an advocate of the lotto, but she in these days and times, however you get the blessing is how it comes. Okay. As long as it's not hurting no one. Um, it says sudden financial change, windfall, small monetary increase, a small win, quick turnaround, joy over money. So it could also be like, you know, I mean, no, so you can get some money and there could be an investment. I don't know. Or at the same time that you get this money, the surprise visitor comes in to help you utilize that money to multiply it. And it helps you build the financial uh, portfolio that you want. Thank you, Spirit. Okay? All right. So, see, and I, I love that we're having this reading. Hold on, y'all. My stomach. That's my body telling me more water. <laughs> but um, I like this reading because a lot of my readings do show, you know, love, like marriage, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, right? Third party. So whenever you get something like this, because I also do finance readings, financial readings, but sometimes even in my financial readings, love will come out. And... um. 
I just bring the message. You know, I'm just the messenger. I don't make this shit up. I don't add to it. I don't. I just tell it how it is. The cards don't. The cards don't lie. Good news. Mature woman, right? Gift of money, adjudication, surprise visitor, unlocking. <laughs> and then whatever spirits say it is, I say it is. Okay? At the bottom of the deck, temperance. Yeah, this is being guided by divine. Okay? Patience. All right? All right, tell me more about this good news. So we have strength. Okay? And one of the things about the strength card is inner strength, you know, inner courage, overcoming obstacles, right? I feel like this is a strong message, a, a message of truth and honesty. When I see the lion, I see the kingdom, something very important, okay? Tell me more about, um, yeah, wow, and it's something to do with the family, Right, something to do with the family, some type of this is so nice. Okay, um, so this message is coming in through your bloodline. This is something that could be an inheritance. Oh, 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 okay. So we have the Knight of Wands and we have the Seven of Swords. The Knight of Wands is, um, So the Seven of Swords is something hidden, very secretive, or betrayal. And then the Knight of Wands is saying, um, you know, something that's coming in. Give me one more for the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Swords. <clears throat> okay. We have the Ace of Cups and we have the Tower. Wow. Okay, so this good news that comes in has to do with a marriage. Um, somebody could have been... Something could have been just kept a secret and it's coming, it's coming out. It's being um, revealed or discussed seven of wands is communication and thoughts and messages right and the knight of wands is excitement and passion so something is being hidden something exciting isn't being revealed right that's good news and this good news could be someone definitely receiving a offer of love or an offer of something, okay? Something that is being given or this good news is coming in to someone of high status with the strength card being here, someone in authority, someone who is the overseer of the family. Thank you, spirit. And it has to do with a new beginning that is being uh, divinely orchestrated by the universe. Something is going to be revealed to this mature woman, this new beginning. Okay, so Spirit told me to do it this way. All right, so we have the Ace of Cups. Now, we also have Gift of Money. So tell me more about this Ace of Cups. Clarify the Ace of Cups, this new beginning. It's this Gift of Money. I, ooh. Okay, so we have the Nine of Wands. Okay. So this is something that is very persistent, close to success. This new beginning is coming in. Uh, it's maintaining its course. So why is this coming in? 
Okay, we have family again, Six of Cups, Nine of Swords. All right, so we have two nines, okay? We have two nines, which is all about a completion, right? Something is coming to head, something that has been, you know, you have Swords, somebody is um, fearful, and persistent. So somebody could be living in survival mode. And I feel like a new beginning is coming in to heal a situation within the family. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. What is the what is the nine of swords? What is the nine of swords? Please and thank you. Somebody is stressed or worried about. So you have the Empress and you have the Two of Pentacles. Um I feel like if this if this is a grandmother or a mom, they're concerned about you, collective, divine feminine or divine masculine, about bringing balance into the world. Like, the struggle is real. That's what I'm picking up. The struggle is real, okay? Because you have the Seven of Swords with the Knight of Wands, okay. which is all about something hidden coming out exciting though because the knight of wands is excitement and passion and then you have strength with the ten of cups that's all about you know a strong family um or marriage or contract and then you have or an authority figure that looks over the family right like as if a, a, a king or a lion will look over their their uh tr their um pride right <clears throat> And that's this person right here, this uh, mature woman. So some something suddenly is going to come in. The universe is going to bring some type of clarity to a new beginning that this person's probably been trying to create for a long time. And unexpected money is coming in to the family with the Six of Cups, somebody from the past or somebody that oversees the family. And this person has been in their head about how to bring the family out of some type of struggle with the nine of wands and the nine of swords being here. That lets me know that, you know, fearful of things. Sorry, y'all. Um, I'm sorry. My back was itching me like crazy. <laughs> out of all places like right in the center like my back was itching me so i feel like with the nine of wands and the nine of swords it's been like an internal war with trying to accomplish a goal and that goal is to be able to live a a successful life right a balanced life a life of flexibility a life of healing to be able to enjoy their grandmahood or their motherhood you know what i mean if they have grandchildren or so forth okay <clears throat> so we have the sun at the bottom of the deck exactly the freedom to live life the way you would like to live life i feel like that's happening give me more about judication what is being judicated with this uh, gift? Spirit, tell me more about the judication. What is that advice with the judication? Okay, so we have the Four of Pentacles, right? Um, the Four of Pentacles could be savings, okay? Give me one more about the Four of Pentacles. Holding tight. Yeah, holding tight. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. So, look, I can't, wow, wow. <laughs> you got two major arcanas here, okay? So, this judication is bringing something from 
Um, from divine, some kind of clarity through the judicial system is coming in, okay? Um, and it's going to cause a transformation. Um, I feel like this is something that is some form of stability with the Four of Pentacles, okay? Um, and there's some communication and travel coming in, some kind of growth, something that's coming in to heal. Now, this could come through a form of a person or a message. Tell me about this surprise visitor because you have the Eight of Wands here. I can't make it up. <clears throat> this surprise visitor right here, we're unlocking, okay? Um, I did see enemy, but we'll talk about that if need be, okay? So the Eight of Wands is about travel and movement, right? And you have surprise visitor. So tell me more about the surprise visitor, please, and thank you. Spirit, what is the potential outcome with this surprise visitor? Eight of Pentacles, okay? So this is definitely some type of form of monetary money on paper. Something's working. Someone's working. Give me more, please, and thank you. This money could come from a lawsuit from work. Wow. <laughs> you have the Knight of Cups. So a surprise visitor is coming in that is an expert in love. <laughs> okay. All right, Spirit, uh, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this could be somebody who has, who could be in, you know, like a financial advisor. Okay. Uh, okay. So what about this Knight of Cups with the Eight of Pentacles, a master in love? <clears throat> Spirit, tell me more about the surprise visitor. Tell me more about the surprise visitor. Oh, Okay. So we have the Five of Pentacles and we have the Page of Pentacles. <laughs> this is about synchronicities. Um, you have the Knight of Cups, Page of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, right? Can't make it up. All right, Spirit, tell me. So... Eight and five is the number um, 13, right? And the number 13 is the four of pentacles. Remember, we saw the four of pentacles here. Okay, so this has something. This is the four of pentacles. Somebody <clears throat> may, somebody may, um, my thought is going. <clears throat> Somebody may take a, a sacrifice or a loss when it comes to some form of income. And I know it's about struggling. So you have the Knight of Cups with the Page of Cups. It's like someone is going to get motivated to pursue their passion or someone got motivated to pursue their passion and they're struggling because they're not making money, but you have a surprise visitor showing up, okay? <clears throat> King of Cups. I yo. <laughs> this is separate. This is like the money's coming in and okay, thank you, Spirit. You're gonna have enough money to pay your bills, but you're gonna have to be frugal, right? You're gonna have to work with the little you have. And at the same time that you pursue 
full time, your passion, the King of Cups is going to show up. So either you're going to get balanced or you're going to unlock something in your life. Um, I have enemy and I have caregiver. Okay. Um, I feel like your, <clears throat> for some of you, your passion is to heal people, you know, because um, it says inner conflict. This is like the five of swords. And then you have caregiver, which is support. So this is like the six of pentacles to me. That's what I'm picking up. Um, and so when you have the five of swords, it's like, I feel defeated, but there's a generous offer coming in. So that's what this is about. Um, you know how sometimes you make a decision and you feel like you cut your own self. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. Um, you feel like you cut your own self, like, yeah, I got this money, but then I went and jumped ship and trusted and had faith and spirit is saying, I got you, I got you. I got an advisor here that's going to help you unlock, resolve, right? Resolve your, your money issues. Okay. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I have somebody here that's going to help you resolve your money issues and you will have, and you did have to make a difficult decision or you will have to make a difficult decision. Tell me about the two of swords. What is this difficult decision? What is this? The difficult decision. This wanted to stick out. Yeah. Are you going to pursue your wish fulfillment? Nine of cups. And when you do that, everything that you wanted is coming in. That's why marriage is here. High priestess can't make it up. You're in the service of healing people spiritually. Wow. This is beautiful. I don't even know how long I've been talking, but I think that's about it. So I'm gonna pull um I'm gonna pull my money oracle and I'm gonna pull one from my abundance angels. And I'm going to pull, um, wow, how did that even, <laughs> this was not, this is family and options. I can't make it up. This was, so this is the deck that it goes to, right? And these are all the cards, right? And I went to go look for a different deck and found these two just, just sitting there. Yeah, your family has options now. Okay, you're going to have options on how you take care of your family. You're going to have options on who's allowed in your family. Um, I was looking for my spiritual deck. Oh, thank you. Sorry, y'all. To clarify this high priestess because you have, oh, see? Wow. You got lovers. You got the high priestess. You got the king of cups and you got the king of wands. This person keeps popping out wanting a new beginning with you. Could be your baby daddy or somebody that you never gave a time or day to. And they, they like a stalker watching you on a low low. They could just be watching you glow up though. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you so much for the um, clarity. Can you come through with this high priestess card and the lovers? Give us um, an oracle card for that, please. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Tell me something about this high priestess. What is the passion that my collective is pursuing? 
Oh my God, we got a lot. So we got eyeglasses. Clear your mind, clear your vision, different perspective, relax, watch out for conflicts. Stay focused. You also have renewal, transition, voyager, freedom, lightness, risk taker. That's why you stepped out on faith when you got this money from your mom or someone that's an authority figure that wins some money or gets some money. And you said, you know what? It's either now or never. And spirit is saying that that's why you did it because that's who you are strong psychic vibrations good luck mirroring relationships inner healing um we have irresistible chemistry reflections of you you're attracting a whole new world i cannot fucking make this up because when i seen this i saw the king of wands energy some of you could just be in a balanced energy of manifesting on a boss level being an entrepreneur but look the world i said it i'm like you're manifesting so a lot of endings and new beginnings is happening and that's why that card said serpendipity i was like why is it saying serpendipity <laughs> because that's what serpendipity is it's like you know um yeah here it go see the page of cups right serpendipity serpendipity is like you know two crazy things happening for the greater good right it, it it turns out great even though both ends of the spectrum look bad right so you get this good money but now you know you step out on faith and take a chance to go and pursue your dream and you realize oh shit i have to you know be frugal with my money i can't live the life i was living before because i was doing my nine to five and working my part-time job what i'm really supposed to do my life purpose and then you step out on faith and do that and then you feel like you cut yourself right but then you Spirit is bringing in someone to help you on this journey. You're creating a whole new world of connections. That's why the lovers is here with the high priestess, right? You're manifesting new partnerships into your life. And then we have mirror, right? Timings are what they seem. Love, self-worth, twisted self-image, um, overlooked and undervalued and that's probably you know how you felt about yourself like you're doing everything for nothing but you got all these good the, the messages are coming in that's why good news is there so you're getting good news and money good news and relationships good news and self-worth okay um strong psychic vibrations good luck mirroring relationships inner healing this is how it was i had flipped it the other way and then we have the pen OK, so being transparent and outspoken, wisdom, promotion, diploma, creative, original, your hard work is paying off, confident. So a lot of you could be pursuing your life goals and your life passions as a hobby um, because you're not making the money that you want to make. But spirit is saying things are about to change for the better. OK, you're unlocking a whole new world of support. Okay. <laughs> um, at the bottom of the deck, exactly. Look, we have um, wristwatch. Wealth is coming. Act now. Don't wait. Didn't I say you just stepped out on faith and said, you know what? I'm going to go with it. Trustworthy, reliable, be spontaneous. Your wish will come true. Divine timing. And I love that the watch is there. Wow, this is so cute. All right. And so let's pull um, a message from your angels of abundance and ask them, what do they advise when you get this money? What do they advise on your new journey? That's what I want to know because you're already getting the money, but then you're going to make another decision. You're going to make a sacrifice. You're going to choose to do this full time, whatever it is, whatever this is, is what you're, you're about to do. And um, you see the opportunity. You've been hoping for the opportunity. So when it happens, look, it says, don't wait, act now, divine timing. OK, um, it says visualize abundance in all forms. OK, God gave you 
uh, such a great spiritual power that everything you visualize. Did you hear? Remember I said I wanted to know what your spiritual gift was that you're going to be pursuing full time because you're passionate about it because you know this is what you're supposed to be doing. So it says God gave you such a great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes what? Reality. And didn't we see the king of wands, I thought this was somebody watching you. For some of you, it is. But the king of wands is creating a whole motherfucking new world. Don't tell me other um, other planets don't exist because they do. You have a lot of gifts. You have a lot of gifts, okay? And one of them, one of them, one of them allows you the ability to bring your visualizations into reality. It says, hold a ready, a steady, ready vision of which is beautiful, healthful, positive, and filled with blessings. And that is what you will experience. What you think is what you see. What you think is what you see. Okay, and last but not least, let me pull out my big money oracle deck that I made myself. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Um, I I think I'm going to just call this reading serendipity because that's what the fuck it is. It is so beautiful, though. It's like you're creating a whole new world all by yourself, boo-boo. All by yourself, handsome. Okay? And you can't tell me that dreams are not real because everything you see was by someone who visualized it. And now it's here forever and ever and ever. Look at some of the monuments in your city, in your town, in your country. Your forefathers, your ancestors dreamt those things and they're still here. So why can't yours be? Right? All right. Let's go. Spirit, give me some uh, messages. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. I don't know which way to do it. Is it this way? I think we should do this way. <laughs> this thing is so... Um, thank you, Spirit. I haven't used this deck in a while, as you can tell, because I used to be able to shuffle through these things no problem. Thank you, Spirit. Just give us one message, please. <laughs> I don't want a bunch. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take those two. Look. Moolah, baby. <laughs> I'm thinking a <of> little Wayne. <laughs> okay, Moolah, baby. I told you, and that's what it said. Good news, gift of money. Everything synchronized. I feel abundance all around me. Isn't that what your angels said? Isn't that what they said? Right? Visualize abundance in all forms. Okay? I feel abundance all around me. I feel supported. I feel successful. I feel abundant, right? That's what they're telling you. God gave me such a great spiritual power that everything I visualize eventually becomes reality. Okay? Hold a steady vision of which is beautiful, healthful, positive, or filled with blessings. And that is what you will experience. How many of you want to experience abundance on every level? Okay? And at the bottom of the deck, financially free. Didn't I say? Didn't I say? Didn't I say? You you jump, boo. You did it. You did it. <laughs> if you ain't, you about to. All right. I love you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment if this resonates. This was a beautiful message for my divine feminines and masculines. Okay. Anybody that's tapping into their intuition is a high priestess. Love you, boo. Bye.